Welcome everybody to a new video about the ICS ARC and in this video I'm going to take you over the features of this rifle. I'm going to talk about the interior, exterior and the special things that have been added to this modernized AK version. Let's get into it. I'm going to go over a lot of the features of this rifle but if you think I forgot something just put it in the comments and I will add it to the next video where I will be opening this thing up and uh, closing it down again. First off, I want to start with the exterior of the gun and we're going to start at the back. The back has a polymer stock and it's adjustable in six different lengths. To extend it, you just pull it and it extends to the uh, length that you want. And to make it shorter, if you have a little bit shorter arms, you just press the lever and you choose your setting. There is also a cheek rest that you can adjust with the press of this button and you got five different uh, heights of your cheek rest. The stock is also collapsible. You press this button and you can just turn it the other way around. To open it up, you just... Even though it's in a collapsible stock, there is no wobble on it. So, uh, But I will have to test this in game to make sure there is no wobble after using it intensely. To open up the compartment for the battery, you just extend the stock completely, press this little lever and there is, there is the battery compartment. For now this is still a Tamiya, a small Tamiya plug, but I will change this to a Dean connector because all my batteries are Dean connectors. To close it up you just press it down again and close it up again. For the people that have been following the ICS models, you will notice that this stock is the same as on the ICS Ape. Moving up from the stock to the receiver. On the receiver you have a um, stamped steel top cover that opens up the same system as the AK-74U and it closes down by pressing up this little button. You also have one sling point at the back of the gun. For me as a lefty this is a little bit tricky because my sling point needs to be on the other side but I will find a way to fix that. You got an aluminium rail on top to put up all your accessories and there is also an improved backside and front side. Same system as on the uh, AK-74U. It's a little bit closer to the front of the gun, but that makes room for all your red dot accessories to put on the aluminium rail. Moving down from the top to the bottom, we will find the newly designed pistol grip and it's ergonomic for left-handed and right-handed shooters. On the other side, you got your new selector switch and it has a standard three modes, save, Lotto and Semi, but this one has another cool feature. If you're done playing for the day, you just open up your top cover and yank it a little bit up and it will release all the tension on the gearbox. This is one of the features that I like a lot about ICS rifles, so I'm happy that they uh, included this in the AK versions. Another cool feature on this one is that it has a full travel bolt and you can lock it in place with your selector switch. You can easily adjust your hop up. If you're done adjusting, release your ball and you're ready to go again. At the front of the rifle you have your lightweight polymer grip and you have M-lock slots everywhere and a small picatinny rail at the front. And at the front of the gun you got this full steel aggressive looking flash hider and it has a 14mm clockwise thread so you can put up any accessories as you want. To remove your flash hider you just press in this little knob and screw off the flash hider. One more thing about the external design of this rifle, you have this in two versions. I got the black one but you also got the green slash black one. In the green and black version all the polymer parts are green instead of black. Also the magazine will be green instead of black. This is the high cap version but you also got the low cap version where you can choose between 30 and 50 BBs. Um, unfortunately I don't have one yet. Uh, it's on its way so as soon as I got it I will make a short movie of it so you can see all the features of the low cap magazine and I will put up a side by side video of the low cap and the high cap version. So that's it for the external parts. Now we go to the internal parts. So the ARC has a version 3 gearbox with a quick spring detach system. But be aware, you need to take out the gearbox before you can uh, get to that quick detach point. In the both versions, you will have the metal hop-up unit that works great. Alright, I noticed that I forgot to give you more information about the SSS gearbox. So at the end of the video, um, here are some numbers and data. Well, the main difference between the SSS gearbox and the MOSFET gearbox is the gearbox. 
in the MOSFET version, you have the standard ICS gearbox with the high quality gears and stuff like that. But in the SSS version, you have the electronic unit in your gearbox and the electronic unit gives you some advantages. One of those advantages is you have a smart trigger system with the smart trigger and you are in full auto, if you just tap your trigger, it will automatically give you a three round burst. And if you keep your trigger pulled in, you got your normal full auto. And besides the electronic unit, you also got some upgraded parts in your gearbox. You got a metal air nozzle, metal cylinder, metal piston head, and you got a full steel teed piston. And to completely end this movie, I will just give you some numbers. The total length of this gun is 638 to 884 millimeters. The inner barrel length is 375 millimeters and it weighs 3.365 kilograms. The muzzle velocity is about 120 meters per second or 394 FPS for a standard rifle. But if you live in a different country with different FPS values, it can happen that you get a lower FPS rifle. Just check your local store for more information. So this was the uh, I forgot the thing part. Now we go back to the ending of the video. For more in-depth information about the internal of the rifle, I will be making a disassemble and assembly movie and then you can see all the parts, where they fit, what's in it, what screw they use and how you put it together. So that's it for this video. If you got any questions or remarks, just put them in the comments and I will try to reply as fast as possible. And I hope you liked the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.